is gone like a bird it flew Hello my loves. Okay, so I know I look a little bit fancy schmancy today, but I am filming this video on my birthday and I'm going out later on tonight with my hubby. So yeah, so that's that's a situation. So today, the day that I'm filming this video is January 26th, which is also my 26th birthday, which also means that it's my champagne birthday, baby. I be popping bottles. Yeah, no, I don't actually drink. Aside from the very, very rare glass of wine at dinner, which happens like two times a year, or some champagne at New Year's. My husband and I are pretty much an old married couple. I don't even like alcohol. I don't even like the taste. And I have the lowest tolerance ever. I have half a glass of wine and I lose my sh Anyway, back to this video. The reason why I made this video to begin with is to show you how I get super smooth, super straight hair. And the reason why I decided to rock this hairstyle today is because I'm wearing this beautiful standout dress for my birthday and I wanted my hairstyle to look more simple and just very very minimalistic so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys how I get my hair silky straight and smooth I've also been getting a ton of requests from you guys to show you how to get smooth straight hair without any frizz which I used to have a big issue with so I thought perfect I'll film myself getting my hair done as I get ready for my birthday and film in my birthday suit well not actually my birthday suit but you guys get the idea so if you guys want to see how I get my hair super smooth and straight without any frizz please keep watching all right, so the first secret to getting smooth and straight hair starts the night before. So I already did the steps that I'm showing you now the night before, right after I washed my hair, and I did this when my hair was 80% dry. So we're just going to imagine that my hair is 80% dry. So what I did was apply a smoothing hair serum to my hair, starting from the middle of my hair, and I saturated the tips. Then, as you can see, I pulled my hair up into a top knot, and I coiled my hair into a twist, and then I'm taking these two butterfly clips and just securing the bun to the top of my head so after I've done that I just go to sleep and then let my hair down in the morning and my hair will be a hundred percent dry so what these tricks do is kind of give your hair a kickstart by already kind of smoothing out any kinks that you have in your hair so now that I've let my hair down I'm just brushing through my hair starting from the ends of my hair and I'm working up to the top then I'm separating my hair as I usually do in the middle guys I'm sorry, but I just don't feel myself if my hair is parted any other way. And then I'm taking my favorite heat protectant spray and spraying it very generously throughout my hair. And then I'm gonna go in with my hairbrush to evenly distribute the product. Next up, I'm setting my hair straightener to 290 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't wanna go higher than that, otherwise it's going to cause hair damage. And when your hair is damaged, it becomes frizzy and totally unmanageable. So I'm gonna start straightening my hair from the bottom to the top. It's the easiest way to style your hair and I'm just clipping away the sections that I'm not working with at the top for now. Then I'm gonna start straightening my hair in small sections. That's the key to getting your hair silky smooth and super straight. So as you can see, I'm taking a very small section of hair, no thicker than about half an inch or an inch or so. And then I'm taking a rat tail comb and I'm combing through the section and then putting the straightener above the comb and kind of going down with the straightener and the comb together. So what this does is ensure that all of the strands are as straight as possible before gliding over them with the hair straightener. This is going to give you the smoothest and straightest effect with only one pass over. I'm not gonna lie, this technique takes a little getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. So all I'm gonna do is repeat the exact same technique with the remainder of my hair. So once I've straightened all of my hair the way that I showed you, I like to go in with a smoothing serum and this also helps keep frizzies under control. The smoothing serum I'm using today is by Arbonne. It's a color protecting serum as well, but you can go ahead and use any smoothing serum of your choice. Another thing I wanted to mention is that when you're applying a smoothing serum to your hair, you wanna concentrate it from the middle of the shafts down to the ends of your hair and try to avoid the roots. If you put any serum in your roots, it's going to weigh your hair down and make the top of your head look a little flat. 
And lastly, to give your hair that extra burst of shine, you can use a shine spray like this one by Schwarzkopf. Once I put the products in my hair, I like to go over my hair with a hairbrush just to make sure that all of the products are evenly distributed. And then I couldn't help myself and appreciate how long my hair is finally getting. It's funny that you only realize how long your hair actually is when it's completely straight. And that's it guys, that's how I get my hair super straight and smooth without any frizz. All right, my beauty, so that wraps up today's tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new and we'll try out the tips and tricks that I showed you today. If you guys have any special requests for future videos, please let me know in the comments below and also let me know what you thought about this video. So in case you guys are craving daily hair inspiration and my weekly uploads on my YouTube channel are not enough for you, you can always follow the Fancy Hair Instagram account and show me some love over there. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I hope to see you in my next video.